Hello guys, this is Amrit Pal. Uh, I'm, I'm here to present a video on the topic Lambda Operator. Uh, lambda Operator often called as Lambda Function as well. Today we'll see uh, what its significance, okay, and how we can make use of Lambda with the functions Map, Filter and Reduce. So Lambda keyword actually we use in the Python language, right? Uh, in our Apache Spark, we got a PySpark available where we can make use of Python language. So we often use the Lambda in the PySpark. So in order to use, we need to learn that how we can make use of it, okay, in our coding. So Lambda operator or the Lambda function is a way to create a small anonymous function. Uh, so what are anonymous functions? The functions without a name. So these functions are throw away, uh, throw away functions. That is, they are just needed when they have been created. Okay, so Lambda functions are mainly used in combination with the filters with the functions filter, map and reduce. The Lambda feature was added to the Python due to the demand from the Lisp programmers. So this is just a like brief introduction to the topic. Today we'll see with the help of practical examples that how we can make use of the Lambda in PySpark. Okay. So let's come to the syntax of the Lambda. It's very simple one. Uh, you can see on the screen the Lambda space argument list colon expression. This is the generalized syntax of the Lambda. So argument list consists of a comma separated list of our arguments. Uh, we need to uh, supply some arguments here and followed by the expression, which can be any arithmetic expression that you want or want to perform on your, these arguments, right? So you can assign the function to a variable to give it a name. So one example that how we can make use of it, very simple one here, I'm taking one variable, like this is my Python prompt or PySpark prompt equal to Lambda is the keyword. This is my argument list separated by the comma, colon, followed by the expression. In this case, expression is the sum. And uh, here we're just calling it and passing the one and one, getting answer is two, okay? So let's try the it first, then we move forward. For this, uh, I'm making use of the PySpark, okay? So you know how to open other PySpark. So PySpark, right? Enter. We'll, got, we'll get the... Uh, spark okay in the form of python here okay let's do it this one simply paste it here okay enter and uh, then simply call it to get the answer okay we get answer okay this is how it's working so let's move forward so we have seen the introduction to this Python, sorry, the Lambda. So now how we can make use of this Lambda with the functions, okay? First we start with the map. You all know the map, okay? We already have uh, discussed about the map in, in earlier videos, right? Uh, example, we have make use of map in the transformation in RDD, right? So, lam uh, so advantage of the Lambda operator can be seen when we use with the combination. Here we uh, will use the Lambda with map, filter and reduce. So this is the generalized syntax of the map. R equal to map. In the bracket, we got function and sequence. Okay. So the first argument is the name of the function and second argument is a sequence. So map applies the function to all the elements of a sequence. This is the like a characteristic of a map that it, it applies the applies the like declared function on each and every element of the sequence. So it returns a new list with the elements changed by the function. So we'll see the example uh, of map first uh, on the following example in which we're gonna uh, calculate the temperature, right? Uh, so first we'll make use of, we'll, uh, we'll not make use of any lambda and then we make use of lambda to get a difference. That what difference we got in the syntax, right? So first example without using lambda. So it is just a, a regular functions, okay? That we already have learned in the Scala as well. This is how we actually used to declare the functions, right? So def is a keyword with the help of which we declare the function. This is a function name passing t as argument. The colon return. It is returning what? This this, this is just a like form a regular formula for temperature calculation, right? Similarly, we got Celsius as well. So uh, we we got one variable in which I'm just passing some values, and uh, then I'm just passing this in the map. Okay. So in the map, first argument was a function. This is my Fahrenheit, this is my function. Next is my sequence, okay, which is called my temperature. Similarly, 
I got Celsius. I'm passing Celsius. Okay, the function comma the f is the in the uh, which we calculated from the previous list, right? So this was a regular function. Here we haven't used the term lambda. Okay, so in the example above, we haven't used the lambda. By using lambda, we don't have we don't have to uh, define the name of functions Fahrenheit and Celsius. So it's quite easy as well, right? How we can do it? Just let's see. Same example, but with the lambda now. First of all, we need to declare a Celsius, okay, a list, right? So the sequence we can say here. Then I'm just making use of Fahrenheit as a variable. Here we are making use of lambda, okay, operator, which we are passing in the map function. Then we are declaring, we're just printing the value of Fahrenheit. Similarly, we got the uh, Celsius available and just printing the Celsius values as well. So let's perform it on the pie spark. Copy these, paste it over here. I got my Celsius, uh, Celsius sequence available. Similarly, I need to now write it for my Fahrenheit. Okay, and first print the Fahrenheit values to get its answer. Okay, I got my Fahrenheit values, right? Then I need to write a form formula for Celsius. Okay, I've written and last printing the value of C here. Okay, or Celsius values. So it's quite easy to make use of lambda now. Okay, so get the same answer which I've which we supposed to get in the previous example, but now with the lambda, right? So map can be applied to more than one list. The list uh, has to be of same length. Map will apply its lambda function to the elements of our argument list. That is the first. It applies to the elements with the zeroth index, then to the elements with the first index until the nth index is reached. How? Just see from here. One more example available. Here we are uh, declaring three variables, three serial lists available in the form of A, B, C. First, I'm making use of map, right? I get this answer. Here we just two uh, arguments are involved, X and Y, okay? Then I'm just uh, making use of X, Y, Z, okay? So to get uh, to get to know that how we can make use of map, okay? So actually this example proves this line, right? that um, the first of all the list has to be of same length okay and uh, because in this case you can see that the list is of same length of four next thing is i've written here the map will apply its lambda function to elements of an argument list that is it first apply to element with the zeroth index followed by first and until the nth index is reached so this example justify that thing right this is how we can make use of map with the lambda, okay? Next one is filter. As the name suggests, uh, when we need to filter something out of the list or sequence, we use the filter operator. So it offers an elegant way to filter out all the elements of a list for which the function returns true. So how we can make use of it, right? It either returns the true or the false, a Boolean value. So how we can make use of it, very simple one. Here, uh, there's one example available uh, that how we can make use of the filter with a lambda. First, we have declared the list, okay? Uh, in a, in a, we are storing it in the FIB keyword a variable. Then I'm making use of this, uh, it in my uh, further operations, right? Just see how we can do it. Very simple one. How to make use of filter here. Let's write it. I've declared my FIB, then I'm just calculating the Fibonacci, Fibonacci series, the very regular thing that we used to do in a very low languages as well, right? So generating a Fibonacci series. So just see one thing here. I have written 0, 1, 1. So this is my Fibonacci series, which I've uh, stored in my FIB variable. Then I just applied the filter operator, okay? Lambda x colon x modulus 2, okay? So I've got all what the 
odd numbers right so actually i'm filtering the odd numbers out of the list okay you can see like uh, i have uh, eliminated, we have eliminated 0 2 8 34 which was the even numbers okay so this is how filter works so next one is if i have written this way i want to print the only the even numbers now so again i'll write in this fashion and uh, i just print the result as well to get the even numbers printed on the screen and get the answer right i hope it is clear to everyone great so last one is reduce actually do, reduce to the aggregation so it's very simple operator it just give you the answer one right it just aggregate everything and get you the last answer the final answer so how we can make use of it very simple one so here we are making use of lambda operator with a reduce and i need to get a sum of these values actually we have declared the uh, like arguments in the form of x y with the comma separated and i've written the expression here and i just pass the actual values to get the answer right so let's perform it as well to get the reduce working let's see i got answer 113 is my sum similarly i can perform some other operators operations here let's suppose i need to find the maximum uh, out of the list okay using a reduce so for this this is a for like a, a expression we have declared lambda keyword a b is my uh, arguments colon this is my expression i've written the formula for getting the maximum value out of it so let's write it as well and just pass the original values to get a maximum i got one zero two which is my maximum right this is how redu reduce works fine and last one more example just to calculate some sum of numbers from 1 to 100 so this is how we can make use of reduce so it's very simple to make use of the lambda with these uh, functions or transformation to get uh, to the result in no time right we got 5050 five, this is the sum of the numbers from 1 to range from 1 to 100 right fine i hope uh, you have uh, got the information from the video right you i guess you have uh, like learned uh, that what's the lambda how we can make use of lambda with these functions map reduce and filter so if you got any doubt whatsoever okay just uh, uh, comment on the video right thanks for watching